Well, Daytona and the Motorsports Hall of Fame of America uh, match very well because the uh, diversity of the type of racing that goes on there. The Motorsports Hall of Fame uh, covers every kind of motorsport, anything with a motor in it, uh, whether uh, power boats, uh, sports cars, indie cars, stock cars, and the fact that the greatest motorcycle race, the greatest stock car race, and the greatest sports car race in America occur right here at Daytona. Having the Motorsports Hall of Fame here at the Daytona International Speedway also puts our sport, any form of motorsport, in front of a, a, a huge audience. Um, hundreds of thousands of visitors come here to the Speedway each year to be able to showcase what the history of the sport is, the technology that's been developed in the sport, the people of the sport. We're identifying the next generation of fans of any form of motorsport. So Florida in general is the biggest tourist attraction in the U.S., the state in and of itself, but the Speedway and what has happened here uh, in all of the, the disciplines, sports car, stock car, motorcycle that Ron mentioned, and you know, a mile or two down the road is the ocean, so all the boat racing that's taken place, uh, certainly uh, open wheel racing here in the state of Florida. So having the, the home be here, uh, a year-round opportunity for people to uh, touch and feel the sport and learn about it, uh, for us, is, is right at our mission. When I had the opportunity to see them before we, we inducted, or, or sorry, announced the induction class for, for this year, uh, I mentioned to both of them, as a sports car fan, and certainly on the Mazda side, Tommy got his start in Mazdas, uh, they're, they're heroes, and uh, we, we talk about them as the, the heroes of horsepower, and even though I was a four-wheel sports car fan as a kid and my father raced, uh, any time I could grab a, a bit of TV and, and watch someone like Rick and his career develop. Uh, for us, uh, those of us who serve, uh, volunteer, and, and give our time to the Hall of Fame, uh, we're all fans. And uh, to be able to be around these folks at our induction ceremonies, it is a who's who of motorsport. And I think that's what makes it such a nice uh, thing to do uh, in our spare time. And it's a, it's a pretty hard uh, place to be in terms of being elected because there's only one inductee per category and so really the 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 cream of the crop is who we honor and uh, and the fact that they're elected by the motorsports community the historians uh, several previous inductees do the electing so uh, it's it's really an, an incredible honor to uh, to give to these guys and the respect that is shown by their uh, fellow competitors